The Sears Roebuck Catalog started as a mail-order watch company by Richard Sears and Alva Roebuck in the late 1800s. The mail-order watch company soon grew into a general mail-order firm that had thick catalogs packed full of everything from clothing to toys to household items. Americans anywhere could flip through the four pound catalog through more than 100,000 items and have any one of them delivered right to their door. Sound familiar? Among some of the catalog items featured were building supplies. These didn't sell very well and Sears had bulky unprofitable inventory in their warehouses. The department was almost even shut down, but in 1906, Frank Cushel suggested that the company sell kits for building entire houses through the mail. In 1908, the company did just that, and began offering what just might be its most bold product line ever, houses. The Sears Modern Homes catalog debuted as a result and it offered all the material and blueprints needed to build a house. They began packaging and shipping these kit homes to anybody that had the cash and access to a catalog which one-fifth of the country was subscribed to. In its first year of production, Sears sold only one model, number 125, an eight-room bungalow-style house. By 1918, the company had hundreds of models and moved from a numbering system to named models most of which sounded like the names of cozy small towns. Some of the popular models were named Argyle, Avondale, Ellsmore, Maplewood, and Magnolia. They ranged from pocket-sized English cottages to three-story five-bedroom mansions. Families picked out their houses according to their needs, their tastes, and their pocketbooks. These kit homes would arrive by railroad to the local railroad station. The kits had everything you needed, which included pre-cut lumber, siding and shingles, windows and doors, nails, paint, and the building plans to put it all together. You could also decide whether or not you wanted a garage, plumbing, or even electricity included for an additional fee. Fifty percent of these homes were built by homeowners themselves, with the generous help of family, friends, and neighbors. The other half were built professionally.
While Sears was not the first nor the only one to sell homes by mail, it was the most popular. They were unique in the fact that they had the advantage of modifying houses and hardware according to buyer wants. To make things even easier for families to purchase and build, Sears began to offer financing. Sears stopped the mortgage program in 1934 as a result of the Great Depression. The Modern Homes program itself ended in 1940, damaged by defaulted loans and pre-World War II shortages of building materials. Between 1908 and 1940, these homes made their mark on the history of American housing. They showed that homes could be standardized and affordable, but attractive and well-built. Sears sold around 100,000 custom homes at budgets and sizes that could accommodate any size family. No official tally exists of the number of Sears kit homes that still exist today. However, it is said that many of these houses survive in varying degrees of condition and original appearance. Next time you take a walk around your neighborhood, see if you can spot one of these Sears kit homes.